What's up, everybody? Brandon T. Adams here, University of Young Entrepreneurs. This is my 100th episode. That's right, 100 episodes here, and it's been quite the journey. And I want to talk to you about the future of entrepreneurship, the future of this world, everything that's to come. It is mind blowing, and I want to share with everybody in my audience. Do a live Periscope, but also through my podcast, you can find that on iTunes, University of Young Entrepreneurs. <clears throat> but it's it's never been a better time to jump into entrepreneurship. And I'll show you that through this short 10-minute show. But I'm telling you, our world, we live in an amazing place. And I urge you to take advantage of everything there is and go after your dreams. So we'll start this podcast show Feel free to give me hearts if you enjoy this. Um, again, I haven't been on Periscope for a while, but let's uh, let's jump into this. Test one, two, three. Welcome back to the University of Young Entrepreneurs. I'm Brennan T. Adams, and this is episode 100. That is right, episode 100. And it's been quite the journey. It has been a ride and a half, a roller coaster to say the least. I have learned a lot, and I've learned a lot about the future of entrepreneurship and the importance of moving forward. So today, we're going to talk about the importance of moving forward in life and the future for all of you and why it has never been a better time to become an entrepreneur. The world we live in is amazing. It, it just blows my mind what's to come in the coming years with our technology and exponential growth. And I want to share with you why. If you are on that borderline, you're working that corporate job, or you are unsatisfied with your life or you feel unfulfilled, you become entrepreneur and you can do things in life that are beyond imaginable. And the resources that we have, and I've seen personally through my studies and the people I have met and the interviews I have done, it it's crazy to think where we'll be looking into 2020 and even the years to come. So first off, if you are living in the corporate world and you hate it, get out. You know, the corporate structure is no longer going to work, and it's not working. I mean, companies have been built, companies that take one to 200 years to build, that have built up and become huge companies, are being destroyed. And you look at Instagram or any of these big tech companies that come up, within 18 months, they can build up a valuation of a billion dollars. It's crazy to think that, but now, with the technology we have, with the online, the dot-com, everything, Things happen so much faster. Things can be created so much faster and they can be destroyed so much faster as well. So as millennials, we don't like to be told what to do. We don't. We, we want to do our own thing, follow our own path in life, and hey, we're, we're the people that break the rules. And we're creative. We're imagine, we have imagination. We, we think big. And we don't want to be in the structure where we have our everyday routine, the, the nine to five, or going in our cubicle and doing something that somebody else wants us to do that, that is meaningful, or not meaningful, meaningless, and has no purpose in our life. You know, computers are replacing workers as we speak. Technology is de de taking out jobs and then creating new ones. It's creating a whole new future. And if you can jump on board now and learn the power of entrepreneurship and what it can do for you for doing your own endeavor, you can achieve some great things in life. You know, we need to continue to reinvent ourselves because the best day, the best ideas on earth have yet to happen. Nobody nobody has uh, found the best idea yet. I mean, they keep saying that as technology gets more advanced, there are more opportunities. And you can be the first to take advantage of that. With Google, you can find anything. 
I mean, Google. You can literally Google anything you want. There's so much info. There's so much data out there that is free. YouTube, you can access everything. It's all at your fingertips. There is nothing out there that you cannot figure out. So there should be no excuse or reason why you can't do the things that you want. You cannot say that there is a lack of uh, resources to be able to achieve your dreams. Traditional schooling, and this is my opinion, and some of you may be offended, but I, I have a four-year degree, Iowa State University, but traditional schooling will no longer be the norm. It will no longer be necessary for people to have to go get a four-year degree and graduate with so much debt. You know, you can find anything online. I've done mastermind groups. I've read books. I've done audio books, online groups, YouTube, you name it. If you want something, you figure out what you want to become the best at in life, you don't have to go to school for it. You can find different resources to learn it. Find somebody that's already done it. Follow in their footsteps steps, and become better and do what they did in your own way. By 2020, we will have 50 billion devices that connect to the internet. Yeah, that's right, 50 billion. Just think about that. That's, that's more than how many human beings are on Earth. So knowing that, if you can build up an online presence five years from now, the power of what it can do, I mean, you can create a multi-million dollar business online without even having to leave your office. I could sit in my office here, in my house every day, and do work, and create this online presence, and make money without ever having to leave. That is the world we live in right now. Create content. Maybe you're a podcaster, you're blogging, you have a website, social media, you name it. We can stay connected with people all over the world. I have people reach out to me from all over this country, from the world. They're inspired or they have a certain thing, that they uh, a point or a show that really resonated with them, which I love. But isn't it crazy to think all these people that you've never met in person, that you can create this relationship through Skype, through social media, through podcasting? Isn't that crazy? This podcast show, I can create this show. I can create this 10-minute show. I can write the blog. I can have it uploaded to iTunes within an hour, within minutes of it being done. I can produce this whole show within an hour. And it can be uploaded to the world to see, and thousands of people will see it. And if something would happen to go viral within hours or days, you could reach millions of people just by uploading a podcast show, creating a piece of writing, a content that inspires people and resonates with the whole audience, with the whole world. Isn't that crazy to think? Our technology will be an exponential growth. We are expanding more and more daily. And as we get more progressed, it's crazy to see the different things that we have that allow us to reach the masses. And this is why we need to adapt every day. With technology changing, I mean, you look at your phone, you buy it, and within a month, I feel like it's outdated because something new and better comes out. And that will continuously happen. What is the next big thing? You know, I've, I've read this in the Tony Robbins book, Mastering the Money Game. Within years, maybe five, 10 years, we will no longer need phones. We will have this chip that will actually could be planted in you. And you it could be your smart device. You can speak. It'll learn everything that you're doing. It can learn your background, your life. And that will be your communication device. Sounds crazy. But it's not so crazy. It's actually here. The internet. When you send emails... You ever notice when you send emails, you're searching online, and you have things that suggest to you based off the things you've done previously? That is how smarter technology is. Emails that you send out to friends and family or coworkers, our computers and our, our uh, data will start compiling that and suggesting things for us and already know who we are. They will know us better than we know each other. Isn't that crazy to think what will come of our future? I had Slava Rubin on my podcast show here. It was on Keys of the Crowd podcast show a few weeks back. And he's the founder of Indiegogo. And he predicts by 2020, we will have a billion dollar crowdfunding campaign. 
That's right, a billion dollar crowdfunding campaign. That's crazy to think, but is it really? We're in 2016, within four to five years, with our growth, why couldn't that happen? Years ago, five years ago, people would have thought it's crazy to raise 10, 20 millions on a crowdfunding platform. But now, look, we've done it. Five years from now, a billion dollars don't seem so far away. Tesla is coming out with a car in 2018 that drives itself. They already have it created, but they have yet to come out with it. It's an electric car that will drive itself. You get in, it'll take you to your destination. You put in the, the address, and it'll drive you there. Does that sound crazy? It's possible. Thinking back five, ten years ago, you would have thought that would never have been imaginable. But it is. Because somebody had the idea, they dreamed it, and they acted on it. You know, right now, there is work being done to have missions where they go and actually do asteroid mining in space. That sounds pretty crazy, don't it? Well, this is actually happening. They are planning missions to go out in space, and this is free game, for people to go and do asteroid mining, to bring this back to Earth, and they sell this, the asteroids or the rocks, to people. That's actually a business plan that's being implemented right now. Within our time, and even one of my friends, Clayton Mooney, he said he'll be asteroid mining in his lifetime, which is not crazy. You will see this. That is the power of what our future beholds. Crazy, huh? Some people may think I'm crazy, think all of this is crazy. But 20 years ago, if somebody would have told you, hey, you're going to have this device called an iPhone, where you can put it up to you, you can do FaceTime, and you can see people across the world. You can hold thousands of songs, data. You can talk to a person named Siri and ask them to do things for you, direct you to certain places, ask them questions, and they will speak back to you. If I would have told you that 20 years ago, would you believe me? Hey, I wouldn't have believed it, but look where we are now. Look at our technology. It's happened. It's been created. The technology is there. Anything is possible in life. Your dreams can become reality, but it all starts with dreaming. And most importantly, acting. Acting on what you want to do. Because without action, you will not get anywhere. It's important to continue to move forward and get better. Getting out of bed every day and reaching even when it feels like there's nothing to reach for. I know what it's like. You're not alone. You're not the only person out there who has those, those days where you want to stay in bed or you don't want to do something. You feel down. You feel unmotivated. You feel like nothing can go right. But when you continue to move forward is when you see the success. Make it your goal to get better every single day and make steps towards that huge success in whatever it is you desire. You know, overnight success is a myth. It doesn't happen. It's overnight success years in the making. It's the shit you do for years, the weeks, the months, everything you put in that builds you up to that overnight success when you have it and people say, wow, you're lucky. You're lucky or you were in the right place at the right time, but they didn't see the shit you went through to get to that point. You know, I've done a lot of things and I'm still growing. I have a lot of things to do, but I've had many failures. I've done a lot of things wrong and it's in my past. I've learned from it, but I got better. But the people don't see that. They see you when you're in the spotlight. They see you when you're on top, but they don't see the struggles you go through, the friends you lose, the relationships you go through that got ruined because of your passion for your work. They don't see when you sleep in your truck. They don't see when you have to move or you have to go somewhere that you don't want to go. But you have to because you know it's a part of the journey. What if you wrote down your regrets? What would they be? What haven't you done in life? Why do they have to be permanent? I mean, why, why does your past have to hold what your future is? It doesn't matter how old you are. Where you come from or what happened in your past. You can change it now. Heck, I'm a kid from a small town in Garnerville, Iowa, 750 people. I went to college. I got a 1.68 GPA my freshman year. I about dropped out. I've been to jail multiple times. I've done things that I, I, I regret, things that I am not proud of. I've had a lot of failures. I've done everything wrong at times. But you know what? 
I don't let it control my future. I don't make it to be an excuse for why I can't move forward like some other people do. Why should that decide where you're going to go? Don't look back. That's your past. Look ahead. Write down on a piece of paper what you want in your life. What do you want your life to look like? What goals do you want to achieve in life? What is it that you want? Most people don't even know what they want in life. Figure out what you want. Erase your regrets, your mistakes, your failures, and things that don't matter anymore. Create your own future. Act on it. Be among the few individuals who change the world for the better, that make a difference, that are known, that create a legacy that is known for hundreds of years. Everyone out there listening to this, think about your life and think about where you can be 5, 10, 20 years from now. If you start right now and you act on it, if you act on it right now, you can get to that point. I've been acting on it for a few years now, and I'm making progress. I've seen a lot of failures. I've got out of my comfort zone, but I'm making progress. If you're not acting, you need to be. What the fuck are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Stop making excuses. Step up to the plate and go after your dreams. Because I'm telling you, you don't want to wake up one day and look back on your life and realize what happened. Why didn't I go after that dream? What if? You don't want what ifs. Stop making excuses and get it done. I'm here to support you. I can give you the keys. I can give you the advice. But at the end of the day, you're the person that needs to act on it. I can only give you so much. I love what I do here, and I'm here to support you. And that's why 100 episodes in, I'm here for the long run. You'll see me for years to come. By 2020, I'll be already reaching millions of people with the exponential growth and the content that I'm putting out and my passion and drive, getting up every single day and moving forward and making a difference. Everything builds up to the big plan in life, which is to reach a lot of people. You can do that same thing, whatever it is you're doing. It doesn't have to be in podcasting. It doesn't have to be in crowdfunding. It doesn't have to be in business. What is your love? What is your passion? Figure out what that is. I believe we are all put on this earth for a reason. Every single one of us. We all have a purpose in life. We all have a gift that we must act on. Mine is influencing others. Helping people do what they love. Being a leader. Speaking. I have ability to speak. I have the power to go in front of a lot of people. Because it doesn't, doesn't bother me. I, I stand up for what I believe in. I have the courage that is crazy. <laughs> crazy. Very crazy at times. But that's what I'm good at. And I'm acting on it. I know what I'm here to do on earth. And I'm doing it. What is your gift? Think about that. What is your gift in life? What are you good at? And my last words, advice to you, which is the best advice I've ever gotten in my life that changed my life forever, is by Napoleon Hill. Whatever the mind conceives and believes, the mind achieves. If you believe in yourself, you can do it. It all starts with convincing yourself that you have what it takes. It starts up here. That's so true. It starts up here in your head when you think you can do something. You visualize your success. You will attract to it and you will achieve it. If you believe in me and what I'm saying and you want to make a difference, then join me and multiple others. Others, We're doing the Young Entrepreneur Convention April 22nd and 23rd in Des Moines, Iowa. We're creating a movement and we already have created something awesome here in a short period of time. Join it if you love what I'm doing here. If you believe in this, if you're inspired... If you are got something that really, through one of my shows, that pushed you to go after what you want, even just one thing, this is an event you want to come to. And for me, it's nothing about the money. It isn't. It's about creating an awesome event and making an impact on this whole world. And we're doing that with a great team. I love every single one of you. That's why I do this. I, I appreciate when you reach out to me. I believe in you all. And I thank you for listening. And the future is great, my friends. I'm telling you, if you're on that, that edge, entrepreneurship, it's the best time to get in. And just by following me or everything I'm doing, I'm going to give you everything I do.
And over the years, I'm going to grow, and there's going to be a lot of things, but I'll always be here for you. I promise you that. And I'll give you the support you need. But please, make me proud. Go after what you want to do. Stop caring what other people think. And make a difference. Go live your dreams. What's holding you back? Seriously, what is holding you back? I know where I will be in 2020. Do you? That's it for today's show. In the meantime, go out there, create something great, and become unforgettable. Because life is too short not to. I'm Brennan T. Adams. Have a great day, everybody. Episode 100. That was my 100th episode there. And wow, <clears throat> the future is great for entrepreneurship. If you haven't done so, follow me, Brandon T. Adams 18, uh, social media or BrandonTAdams.com. And uh, hey, I'll continue to do more Periscopes. I hope you enjoyed that. This is quite a milestone for me, 100 episodes in. I've learned a lot. I have a lot of growth to do. It's amazing to see what the future is to bring. Please go after your dreams. Do what you want in life because that's what life is all about. In the meantime, go out there, create something great, and become unforgettable because life is too short not to. Have a great day, everybody.